Greetings and salutations, dear viewers, and welcome to Firewatch. Firewatch is a game where you are a Firewatch. Your job is to stay out in that tower and keep an eye on a forest. Make sure it doesn't catch fire. It's also known as an environmental narrative game, or as some people refer to when they're saying stupid things, a walking simulator. And to be honest, though, it all depends on what you want out of a game. That doesn't make it a bad game. If you just want a nice, chill game where you can look around and explore, and let me tell you, this game is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It came out 2016. And so relatively chill. Yeah. So we're going to take a look. Um, we play as a Firewatch, and of course, there is more to us than that. So let's go ahead and get going. And see what happens. So let's start with how did we become a Firewatch? Nineteen seventy five. Yep. Boulder, Colorado, too. So we're going back a little ways. I did it. I officially saw Julian. We are Henry, and we're pissed drunk right now. We are You're pretty. <laughs> Oh, you remember that hobo scene from Invader Zim? Uh, maybe. The the guy who's, like, in the cafe with Dib, and he's like, Oh, that's my secret organization. Don't tell anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know why he carries that corn around? Why? Corn rye. Rye is a cut type of whiskey. Mm. It's his, It's their way of going like, oh, he's drunk, but it's actually a corn cob, so you know, kind of, eh, eh. <laughs> We did it! We got us a girl. We just had to be drunk and charming to someone who was susceptible to that. And now we're actually here. We're moving around. This is us. You look down and see us. That's us. We're here. We grab our backpack. That's an alright bag. <sighs> it's a very nice backpack. A parking garage, too. Got a truck. Old Faithful. Cinder blocks. I just want to pick them up. I want to pick up all... I want to pick up everything. Chuck them at people. Look. I have an inventory full of junk at the end of the game. It's like, I don't know. What if I need those four cinder blocks? Garbage. Looks like that's railed off. It's a parking garage. Pretty yeah. Sure you have to hit a button or something on your way out. That kind of reminds me of my dad's old truck. Like his old, old truck. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> I hate her. I love her. We also drink a lot, so that tells you... I don't know, the guy's a drinker. It was guy's the 70s, drinker. what did you do? <laughs> Uh, I kind of want to get her the shepherd, but I feel like we should get her... Let's get her the dog she wants. Yeah. Good old bucket. Where's my option to take both of them? <laughs> they are... They are a little idiots, but they're... You, everybody starts as an idiot. We've been dating for four years at this point. Yeah, we're also not, like, married or anything, though, so we should probably hit that step first. So, one day, why rush it? Not everybody needs to have kids right away. Everybody needs to have kids if they don't want them, so... And this at least kind of tells you that she is older than you are. Probably not, like, crazy, but, like, 
Probably got a couple years on you. Especially if she was a teacher. She's roughly your age, but she's probably a couple years older. Yeah, not again, not like different age group or whatever, but she's probably got a couple years on you. And now we're engaged! Yay! Yeah. I did it. Where am I? Well, we're at the park we're supposed to be at. Yep, that's the park. that say fire danger today don't even fucking try it buddy. yeah that is some friggin fire we got to worry about today <laughs> it's pretty much like hey if you even think about something don't even think about it that light bulb over your head could ignite this whole place probably could and hey is there a like where am i yeah. mm -hmm. i don't think that's so. like a big old fist it's the area we're going to be at. It's yeah. two forks. Admittedly, I don't know where we are on this map, but given the size of the map, I think we're way far away from this location. Yeah. Like, we're probably, like, here. <laughs> so rest of the board got for us. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, don't forget to check in. Yeah, because you don't want to get lost out here and nobody knows it. No fireworks. Yeah. Do we even need to explain that one? Yeah, I mean, if the guy over there told us anything. <laughs> um, bear country. Oh, it turns out nature has nature in it. Yeah, who'd have thought? I mean, I don't like the idea of there being bears, but you do what you gotta do. And then the last one is very important for everyone out there who thinks they're better than they are, probably are. Nature is fucking dangerous. Yeah, this is not a an easy route we're gonna be walking on. That has to be St. Rangers to use those little trail marker things. Maybe, I don't actually know. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, to just be that inconsiderate, really. Like, to not let you know what's going on She's just while she's just out having fun. Like, at least let you know. Uh, I feel like I'd get mad, but I'm gonna ignore. I uh, better be shitting that pill out here soon. I mean, like, whenever anything goes that, whenever anything goes that bad. You want to bring it up, you want to let her know, but you don't want to get angry about it. That would be hilarious. But I'm going to flex like you, man. <laughs> you look I awesome. sure do. Huh. Uh. My knees. Yeah, that was a high jump, man. That's not that bad if you land properly. I mean, I wouldn't have jumped down like that. I probably would have turned around, put my feet on this, and then hopped down the rest of the way. I think they did a parachute landing where you bend your knees. Because if you do your legs straight, you snap them Well, hard. I should hope you bend your knees when you land. You're going to break your legs. Well, that's the whole point, is you never go down stiff leg. If you go down stiff leg, you break your legs. If you bend your knees, the the uh, the whole, you know, mechanism works. So you go like, oh, oh, oh. Eight more miles still. Damn. It's still going through this whole thing. It's still evening. Beautiful evening. I imagine we'll be there before nightfall, though. Or maybe around nightfall. That sounds... Eight miles is probably going to be a couple, two, two, three hours. Good old bucket. God damn. Dangerous place. Man, we should have gotten that other dog. Man, I'd think about it, but... Probably best to de-escalate. Just get everybody out of there safe. Don't want to worry about, like, making problems worse. Yeah. You even scare yourself. Well, you're all kind of panicking in that moment. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to be honest, I don't want to go that way anymore. I 
That happens sometimes. Yeah, life gets in the way. Ooh, yeah, that's moving up in the world. Yeah, but here's the dilemma. Yeah, it, one that's... partner wants to move to get a better job. The other one doesn't want to even budge. And that's rough going that far. Like that's two thousand miles away. That's rough to just... just go like, all right, let's go. Especially if you've lived in one area your whole life. Yeah. And knowing Henry, he's probably has a lot of contacts in the area, so. And so, like... But I don't want her to lose out on the job, either. Yeah, that would be... That's completely fair. Like, if she wants to get the job, she can get the job. I'm not gonna try to get her to not take the job. Like, let's work on a compromise, maybe. That's a decent flight, but they probably got the money for that. Especially I mean, if she's taken this episode, mm -hmm. or this episode, episode, this job, job. No, she's having an episode. On ep oh no. Well, that happens. I mean, you can forget stuff. You just gotta like be. I mean, you gotta own up to it if you forget something. I forget crap all the time. Who are you? Your imagination. Oh right. Oh no, things maybe things are worse than we thought. Yeah, I would after that. Yeah, point, probably. There ain't no forgetting somebody. about that. And that's the kicker. Forty-one years old, and she has early onset dementia. Well, that's crap. It's getting late. Stars are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so strong. Uh, you want to keep an eye on her, though. Yeah, that's rough. That's getting to the point where she needs, like, Effectively constant supervision. Yeah. Even if she could get by without constant supervision right that second, it was it's it's very quickly going to get to that point. It's really the heartbreaking part about this whole thing is that it's a coin flip who you're going to get one day. Yeah. Like you never know. Like and it's rough on her, but it's also rough on him. Because you don't go into you go into a relationship hoping for just happiness for the rest of your life to be able to spend your time with this person and for it for it to turn for your whole life to turn into this. Granted, points on Henry for sticking by her during this yeah. terrible long time. So you know how many people bail on that for better or worse moment <laughs> in sickness and in health, and there's like up. Oh. I wouldn't want to do that, though. I wouldn't want to just dump her somewhere. It, like, she would get better care, but would she really... Would How happy would she really be? It's honestly hard to tell. I think I'd stick by it. I'd, I'd want to do it myself. Next day... Walking slow if that's eight miles. <laughs> well, you do have to realize when it's you not eight. eight miles. It's also not eight miles in a straight line. It's eight miles on this. Well, you had to have to keep in mind he hit eight miles during the evening, so he would have had to st uh, had to kick uh, make camp at some point. Cause, yeah, probably didn't. God, I love these trees. I love the ghost trees. I don't know why. Just when the bark dies, but the trees perfectly fine. Oh. There's a lot of elk here. That thing can kick my butt. Hey, do you know elk? Not, uh, not that elk, our elk. 
Yeah, years later, I'm still doing that joke. <laughs> and, like, this is, it's completely understandable. Like, you don't want to, but being in that kind of situation when she doesn't realize where her limits are, and she can't realize where her limits are, that's the frustrating thing. It's completely understandable that he would get angry from time to time about that. Well, he gets angry because he has no outlet to let his anger out. Like, he can't get mad at her because she didn't purposely... Yeah, it's not her fault. She didn't purposely get this, and he can't get mad at the dementia because the dementia doesn't care. It's just doing what it's doing. Give me a personification of dementia, and I'll beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Yeah, at that point, you're just kind of looking for an escape. I feel so bad doing this. Like, it, I it may be... Lock somebody in it. If, if somebody with dementia that you don't know if they're going to wake up and not have an idea of what's happening and keeping them in a locked room... Like, it may be better for... Like, I feel like it would maybe be better for her safety, but I don't... I couldn't do it. I'd hate myself for doing that. Maybe we've been drinking a little too much. Point one oh. God, what's the legal limit around here? I don't know. Isn't it like point oh seven? I think it's like oh six. Is like when you start getting in trouble. Yeah. I don't even, I don't drink, so I don't even pay any attention. And again, this is, it's completely understandable. Not that I will defend this. It is wrong. But I can understand how he got to this point. He's just trying to cope. And at this point, you kind of have to give up. Like, you like you're not even arguing. Like you at this at this point, I feel bad because you're kind of just you're kind of abandoning her. But af like after going through so much, he just wants an escape. It's kind of hard on a lot of people. By the way, the legal limit in Ohio is 0.08%. And if you're apparently driving a commercial motor vehicle, it's 0.04%. And that's how we got where we are. Yep. And that's why we're out here in the old Shoshone. That's where we're at. This is actually a, Shosh a Shoshone National Forest, which is the first federally protected national forest in the United States and covers 2.5 million acres Jeez. in the state of Wyoming. So this is really neat, though, and this is where we're actually seeing, once we're past the little bit of intro story, we're seeing, a, at, le at least starting to see what we're going to be getting into with the game, which is just being able to look around. Being able to explore, being able to see the sights. And this is a gorgeous place. And they give you so much freedom to walk around and see everything that's going on. And if you look near the back, they give you a poop den. It's a poop house. It's a pooping den. I mean, you gotta go somewhere. Yeah, I'm not exactly going to expect you to poop over the side, so they give you a pooping den. Hey, that's baseball. What, that's what I'm calling outhouses now, is pooping dens. I got a baseball. Why is there a baseball in the pooping den? Look in that baseball. I, would, I don't know if I want to touch a baseball that's been in a pooping den for a while. Look, sometimes you just need something to do. You're in there for longer than you wanted to be. You know what? I'm not going to argue with you too much. I do bring my phone and my Switch, or my Switch in sometimes okay, when something. I'm in my pooping den. Oh, ah! yeah. Look at that guy. Hey, it's the guy on that sign. The it fire is. sign. We'll look at him a little. Alright, I'm done looking at him. Get out of here. Yeah, bum. That horrible noise, I think, is the generator. Gotta close our pooping den. 
don't want animals getting in our pooping den, eating our poop. Well, we weren't raised in a barn. They would have closed the door on our pooping den. <laughs> All right, it's been forever. Let's get up here. Maybe there's. Yeah, a we finally or... got here after oh, so long. Oh, you go long. down into the center. I did not. Hey, you can go down in here. should be a water tank around here you can check out too. Yeah, like right there. Huh. That's where the rain waters, I guess, gather up and you can use it for showers or drinking water. Yeah, there's even a spigot. I'm not gonna waste my water. It's good water. God, I love water. I can go for some water now, actually. My water bottle's empty. <laughs> Water is delicious and keeps us alive. Is it weird that we're considered like 70% water, yet we're mostly s like solid instead of liquid? I thought it was 80. I heard 70. We're here! What do we got in here? We got a radio, got a pine cone. Nothing's turned on because the power's not on. Yep. Another pine cone. Cookbook. <laughs> Probably gonna learn God, how to do. It's a cookbook. Probably gonna learn how to do a lot of fire bucket. You know, just in case we see a fire. Well, it's also because you're cooking out here by yourself. Bed that's looking oh, pretty alright right now. Do you know how hard I hit that bed after two days of hiking? Kind of turn the power on tower. though. Oh, <laughs> there could be a fire outside, and I'd be like, "Fuck it, I'll burn to death in this bed." Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. We actually saw it when you were looking around. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Hey there, Delilah. Damn it. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? What kind of People question is that? this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? Can I sleep? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um... Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. <laughs> I sleep now. Now you. <laughs> okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. And I'm out! <laughs> And so we begin day one on the job. A good time with all that fire stopping. Good morning, Henry. Well, I hope so. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get oh, some work of in. I can see you at your yeah. desk, so call me when you're ready. Oh, and of course we can't actually see her. Yeah. Fine. Ugh. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the Hello. job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? I found it. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, My you God. guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is uh -huh. it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't know which direction is west. Oh, I have a compass. West are is behind me. fireworks? Yep. 
Fab Whoa, some fireworks. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. And that's what the sign said. Really, my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> also, if you could see, that was that's her lookout over there. The thorough, fair lookout. Hey, I could see your tower. Yep, that's me. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so with that, we've got our humble abode, and we gotta go stop some idiots from burning down the fire. He's got a cast iron, and you do not know how it's been bugging me how to properly... No. Well, he's got two cast irons. He's got one on the stove and one hanging up top there. Ooh, and I think he's got a little Dutch oven up there. You do not know how hard it is f to try to figure out how to properly clean those and then have to research... Oh, to, uh oil them up again so you can keep the seasoning on them. He's got his coat hanging right on that. Well, um, one way or the other... You ain't punching that button anytime soon. Yeah, one way or the other, we are heading out. Gotta stop us some fireworks. So until next time, everybody, we can go explore the forest and stop some idiots from burning it down. I see you over there. Acting all weird and stuff. Hello!